Now that you've created a document or a booklet using paragraph styles, you can create and add a table of contents. So I'm going to go up to page three where I have my table of contents set. And what I'm going to do is go up to layout, table of contents, a dialog box pops up. And let me just remove these. This is what it should look like. Now, what it's, get, what it's telling you is, first of all, uh, you have just a default set for table of contents. I want to give it a title, so I'm going to call it table of contents. Put that in there so you can tell it's mine. Now, what I need to do is I need to tell InDesign how to read where my table of contents is uh, or how to know where to indicate new sections. So what I'm going to do is go over to my other styles, and I have my headings. I'm going to add that as well as my subheading, I click and I add that. Now down below, if I click on heading, it says entry style, and it gives me a style that I can change what it looks like, and it says page number. After entry, you can change it to before entry or no page number. We're going to change it to after entry and go ahead and select OK. Now it asks if you want to include overset text. I'm just going to click yes. Now I click and I have a table of contents created. I know that on page five is the Star Spangled Banner. The Gettysburg Address is on page six. But looking at who these things are by, I don't necessarily need to see the page number at the same place. So all I need to do is go back to my um, table of contents style. If you go up to layout, table of contents styles, and if I click on edit, Right here, I can change the subheading. I don't want to have a page number afterwards. So I click OK. Click OK. Now you can see the page number. Oops, let me just do that again. Layout. Table of content style. I'm going to edit this. Actually, I'm just going to remove the subheading for right now. But this is where you would experiment with going through and changing this. Oh, I remember why. So I've changed it. Now what I need to do is go up to Layout, Update Table of Contents, yes. And it will update the Table of Contents to show what we've done. So that's how you go through and you update it. And the same thing, after you add and take away various pages, all you do is you go Update Table of Contents and it'll update it for you. Now looking at this, uh, the table of contents starts on page 5 because that's page 3.